In this video, we'll go through exam questions that cover the criteria, recognize coins and notes, and write them in numbers with correct symbols, pounds and pens, where these involve numbers up to 20. You can locate the questions on the MarsMath.com website under Entry 1. The questions come from different exam boards. We'll start with the non-calculator questions, and then we'll move to the calculator questions. Here is the first question. Fez buys a computer game. He gets this coin in change. What value does this coin show? As you can see, this is two pounds. Also written here, two pounds. So that's the value of the coin, two pounds. Rosie and her mom buy some shoes. They pay with a 20 pound note. Take the 20 pound note. Looking at the first one, this is five pounds, so not 20. This one is 10 pounds, not 20. This is 20 pounds, so I'm gonna tick this one. What is the name of this coin? One pound, so this is a one pound coin. ticket machine. The train fare is three pounds. Use the correct money. No change given. So we need to put the exact amount. So I'm going to put two pounds and one pound because two and one makes three. Another option would be to put three one pound coins like this one and this one and this one so three one pound coins now we can use a calculator a customer needs to pay 12 pounds he gives Leila this money. So he gives Leila, who's the shop assistant, 10 pounds. He needs to pay 12 pounds. The customer will also give Leila one coin. What coin will the customer give Leila? Use the correct symbol for money. So he needs to pay 12. If he's paying 10 pounds already, so that is another 2 pounds. So he needs to pay with a 2 pound coin because it says there he's going to use a coin, one coin. Rita works in a sports centre. A customer needs to pay £15 for a ticket. The customer gives Rita this note, £5. So the customer gives Rita £5. He gives Rita one more note because he needs to pay £15. So, which note does the customer give Rita? Use the correct symbol for money. So, if he's given five pounds already, he's going to need to give ten more because five add ten makes fifteen. So, he needs to give a ten pound note. The bus fare costs one pound. Liz wants to pay with coin A, so that's this one here. This is one pence. Is she correct? Give a reason for your answer. No, she needs to pay with coin C, which is one pound. 
pound. Or we can say she needs to pay one pound, not one pence. Alex pays for his lunch with this note. So that's ten pounds. What value does this note show? Ten pounds, as we said. Rosie uses a five pound note to buy the pencil case. The price of the pencil case is three pounds. How much money does Rosie have left over? So she pays with a five pound note. The cost of the pencil case is three pounds. So if we take that away, it gives us how much money there is left over. So we can use a calculator and do five, take away three, which gives us two. And that is two pounds. It's important we add that because it could be two pence as well. And there is a massive difference between the two. Dylan buys a drink. He needs a one pound coin. He chooses coin A. Coin A, that is one pence. And he needs a one pound coin, which is this one here, coin C. Is Dylan correct? Give a reason for your answer. So we're going to say no. That is one pence. Or we could say no, he needs coin C. Or no, he needs to pay with a one pound coin. Tick all the 1p coins. So 1 pence, that's this one here, this one here, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. The rest of them are 1 pound coins, 2 pound coins, or 2 pence coins. Small gift boxes cost 10p each. A customer wants to buy one small gift box. He has these coins. Take the coin to use to pay for the gift box. So the 10 pence coin, that's this one here. And we're going to tick it. The first one is a 20 pence coin. Second one is 2 pence coin. Third one is 1 pence coin. And the last one, that is a five pence coin. But we don't need those. We only need the one we ticked, 10 pence. The party planner will buy the desserts. These are the costs for the desserts she needs. We've got seven apple pies, costing seven pounds. Four ice creams costing four pounds, five fruit salads costing five pounds. She has these notes and coins. Take the coins and the notes to pay for the order. So first we need to work out how much the order is in total. So we have seven, add four, add five, which gives us 16 pounds. So, 16, we can pay with a £10 note, £5 note, and a £1 coin. So, 10 and 5 and 1. So, let's double check. £10 and 5 and the 1 gives us 16. So, we've ticked the correct notes and coins. 
How much money will she have left over? Give units with your answer. So she has two pounds and one pound. So that is three pounds. The party planner needs to pay for the hire of the room for 13 people. She must pay one pound for each person going to the party. So it's 13 people, one pound each, that is 13 pounds. She uses this note to pay for the hire of the room. So that's a 20 pound note. Which of these notes and coins should she get in her change? Tick them. So we're working out change. So 20 pounds. Take away 13 gives us seven. So she should get seven pounds change. That could be five pounds and two pounds. Or it could be coins, old coins, or five pounds and two one pound coins. So there are different answers you could give here. This is just an example, the one that I've done. Tick all the 10p coins. So this is 10 pence, 10p. I'm going to tick it. This one as well is the same. This one, this one, this one. So I've ticked all the 10p coins. The rest of the coins are five pence, one pence, or two pence coins. And we don't need to tick them. A man buys a train ticket on Tuesday. He can use the ticket for three days starting from the day he buys it. On which three days can he use the ticket? So this is part A of the question and then we have part B linking to money. So we've got Tuesday, after Tuesday comes Wednesday. After Wednesday comes Thursday. The ticket costs four pounds. The man pays with this note, which is ten pounds. How much change will he get? Put units on your answer. So ten take away four gives us six. And that is six pounds because we're dealing with pounds. And this is the end of the questions.